Another area where music is being recognized as a very powerful intervention is in the area of surgery. For years, people thought, well, the patient is asleep. You know, why would, why would they need to be listening to music? Well, the fact is, the patient does hear the music. Even, even though they are asleep, it registers. Not only does it register in their consciousness, but also because of the process of entrainment. Remember, entrainment where the strong <coughs> rhythmic pulse synchronizes with the heartbeat and the breathing. We have numerous documented studies that when people are listening to music that has the slow, steady pulse through headphones so that it goes into the brain through the eighth cranial nerve, they take up to 50% less anesthesia. Now that's big. That is a huge advantage. Because when a person has surgery, they're recovering from at least three different things. They're recovering from whatever they needed surgery for to start with. Then they're recovering from the cutting. Then they're recovering from the anesthesia. So if you can use music to decrease the amount of anesthesia that a patient takes, why not do it? Um, one of my favorite stories is actually about someone here tonight who I heard was going to have heart surgery. And I got a call, Alice, come down to South Carolina, your, your mother is going to have heart surgery, heart bypass surgery. So I jumped into my car with all my CDs and my headphones and, you know, all excited about helping her to find some music. And when I got to the hospital, uh, I found that she wasn't particularly excited about using music during surgery. You know, the headphones seemed a little uncomfortable or something. So I said, now, Mama, you have got to use music during your surgery. This is what I do for a living. What would people think of me if my own mother would use surgery, music during surgery? So she said, okay, all right, I'll do it. So we began the process of sifting through lots of different CDs. And most of the people that I have worked with loved harp music, loved uh, solo piano music or string quartet. Mama was not really crazy about any of that music. So I thought, oh dear, what are we going to do? And finally she said, Alice, just play whatever you want as long as it's not nearer my God to be. <laughs> so that has been quoted over and over ever since the day it happened. But the amazing thing was, you know, I, I talked to the anesthesiologist and I talked to the surgeon. It's real important not to spring this on a doctor. They need to know in advance that you want to do that. And usually, when you give them the rational reasons for doing it, they're, they're okay with it. So, uh, Mama ended up listening to Handel's Water Music Suite, I believe it was. And um, when, the, when the procedure was over, my father and I went back to the recovery area, and I expected Mama to be zonked, you know, out of it. But instead, as Daddy and I got close to the bed where she was, she, she sort of sat up on one elbow, and she said, Alice, the music was beautiful, da, 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 and conducted a few bars. And I thought, wow, is this my mother, the dignified preacher's wife? Uh, but it was, and ever since then, she says, please tell everybody to have music when they have surgery.